Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today it's a misty, rainy day outside. We're expecting some thunder showers, which I'm really excited about because it gives me a day off from watering the patio, the fruit tree, the raised tree garden, the fruits and veggies, and the 500 White Spruce Tree Farm. So it saves me about four hours today, which is amazing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to work on a black locust that was looking to glow, uh, grow out for the entire season to thicken up the trunk However, um, spider mites and scale insects have attacked it, and after treating it, all of its leaves are kind of like turning yellow and falling off, so it's just, it's not a pretty tree right now. So I'm going to give it a nice hard prune, and uh, unfortunately, it is paired up with an avocado tree, so they are two of the three trees that I would say avoid if you're a beginner. Um, avocados and black locusts, the bugs love them, and very high maintenance, but anyways, we're going to be getting to pruning them, and that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. So before it starts pouring and we head inside, I just want to show you a nice group planting of a black locust. What I love about the black locust is that it gets a really gnarly trunk without you having a wire or anything like that. And it almost has like a tropical like leaf and feel to a tree that can sustain, you know, life up north, um, even outdoors year round. So you'll find these growing in the wild. And it's really trippy when um, like you're paddle boarding by and you see like a black locust branch amongst evergreens and birch trees and things like that. It's so unique up here. Um, so that's why I really like them, even though I would recommend not getting them because even this one the other day had um, black aphids on it. And I'm like, outside I've got bugs on them, inside I have bugs on them. It's ridiculous. So let me show you what I got today. Got the studio set up to prune up this guy. Bop, bop. They were looking awesome until the spider mites attacked. So my order ended up getting canceled on Amazon. So rather than trying to order again, I went to a local nursery and um, the lady just said, you know what, there's this one with neem oil, or there's this one, which is what I ended up getting, the end all, with neem oil and some dish soap and other things. And it kills 45 different insects. You don't actually have to hose it off afterwards, which is the biggest pain in the butt um, with a lot of the insect treatments is you have to, you treat the plant and then you have to go back like a certain amount of time later with a spray bottle and hose it down with water, you know, so that the leaves and everything else don't burn up. And it's like, I'm not trying to do twice the work. So I'm hoping that this end all worked. I went around and I sprayed all my black locusts, um, all of my blue jacaranda, uh, Delonyx regia, and uh, my gum trees, because those are all like highly sensitive to getting all these bugs. I, I sprayed one trident maple just so it had uh, green aphids one time, but Typically, uh, no issues there. So, yeah, hopefully it works. You see it was $9.99. Um, she said it'll smother them, and um, then the essential oils and stuff will be uh, long-lasting and just do it every two weeks for uh, three treatments. So, hopefully, so that's what, um, three weeks, and so six weeks, three treatments over six weeks, hopefully um, I'll be all set. All right, so let's prune up this black locust. All right, y'all, so here it is. I don't even know if I could get it all in this one shot, but I'll just flash it in front of the camera as it comes to you. You see, I was really letting it grow out and it was creeping along a nice big window, eastern facing window, and this happens every single time. As it grows out and I'm finally satisfied with it, um, it gets attacked by bugs. So this time it was scale and the uh, spider mites but I've had aphids on it, mealy bugs, depending on the time of the year. So even this time, um, the spider mites were attacking all of the little soft new growth on the avocado tree. So anyways, I treated it once with just simple dish liquid, uh, dish soap liquid, natural, uh, tiny part, like one part to every hundred parts water. And I sprayed it down and then I sprayed it down with water uh, that did not work. Um, I tried removing all the scale insects by hand, but anybody who's done it before knows that like 
it's just impossible to get them all literally they're terrible um so i went to the store today i got that that liquid with the oil and the dish soap and i'm hoping you know ultimately that'll be a solution but for now these leaves are just all damaged and light green and speckled and they're going to end up falling off they have been you know the past couple days so i figured why not do the pruning that i was planning on doing so i'm going to turn around for you hopefully you can see the trunk you see it's got a nice trunk it comes up and then this main dominant branch comes out this way and that's what i was letting grow out um, just to give the tree and the trunk lots of energy this year and let that thing thicken up. And I had been planning on nipping it here, and now this would be the new apex. It's pretty interesting, and it already grows away from the avocado tree, so they wouldn't be interfering with each other, so it would be like a natural fix there. Uh, and then with this avocado tree, I'll probably just nip the tips and leave like one set of leaves on each branch, which will probably kill it because it's an avocado plant. <laughs> All right. Do you have to get by, baby? All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use these, which I don't get to use that often because I have such small trees. Most of them are babies. And I'm going to do a huge cut. I'll leave a little room for die back. Probably in a week or so, I'll go back and clean it up. Boom. Whoop. All that done, son. All right, so with all those branches and everything, it was a little overwhelming to go in and clean up the remainder of the scale. But even though I've sprayed this, I'm going to remove any scale that I see by hand. And I'll probably spray it again. They say two weeks, but since I'm a little crazy, I'll probably do 10 days. <laughs> just to make sure no new eggs hatch and attack my tree because it's really doing well. This tree is a survivor. Um, it has a long playlist. It wasn't meant to be in this pot with this avocado, but when it popped up as a seed, uh, from seed, it was really uh, rooted shallowly. So like the, the plant, the tree was growing, but the roots and everything weren't sturdy. So it wasn't sitting in the seed pouch or anything like that. So I put it in here and it, it would not stay in the soil. So every time I would water, the thing would float around and then sit. And I'm like, okay, it's just gonna die off. But the next day would come and there'd be new, new leaves. And then at, all of a sudden, the thing, it, you know, it rooted itself. And then it started growing very muscularly. And here we, are. Here we have it. It was the runt. It shouldn't have survived, but it wanted to. And it's been attacked by insects many times and it just keeps coming back so i just feel like this tree's pretty cool it's a survivor you know so i'm thinking i like i like how these branches are reaching out in a cascade it's got a nice little flow to it but it's just too early on to be establishing that much length in the branches i feel and it's going to be this small you know we got to bring everything back in so i'll bring this back in uh, first set of leaves on the majority of them. Anything growing back and across, let's just take out. This is pretty cool, actually, this branch. So it's got a great start. So I will I'll leave some downward facing buds. This branch isn't going to work for me. Take that fully out. I think with this, depending on where I had it uh, facing the window at the time the branch was coming in, is really what determines what the branch looked like, what direction it's going in. They will really follow the sun. So, you know, a lot of these branches are growing back and across. And I, I mean, I guess that's natural for them, but it doesn't really look natural. So that's what I'm thinking about. I really don't know what I want to style this tree like. 
I didn't plan on having this tree and I didn't plan on having it with an avocado plant. So I feel like it will go through many different evolutions, you know, depending on what this guy does, if it stays alive or not. Um, I'll complement the two of them together. If this avocado plant ends up dying off, which I would not be surprised, I would kind of like uh, morph this black locust into filling out the pot more and doing some more interesting things. All right, so why don't we take down the top two, huh? branch right here and it's literally just growing horizontally between two interesting branches so I'm just gonna remove that so that's done I think that's gonna be it for that guy what about the avocado I hate to even touch it to be honest with you you know what I'm gonna leave the avocado because they always die on me. <laughs> That's it. There's just one little branch in there with no leaves. I got that out of there. You know, for right now, that works for me. So let's bring you in here and take a look. All right, so you see this was all natural, and this was honestly because it grew up like laying on the surface of the soil, getting watered, and just surviving. And then sometime, at some point it rooted. So I didn't wire, I don't wire, I don't believe in it. And there we go, we got a great start to this little guy. It's a couple years old, um, I want to say December 2018, so we're looking at a year and a half old, a little more than that actually. And I planted a whole bunch. I went through a phase where every avocado we had, I'm like, I'm not wasting it. And so I would like plant them in random pots. And that's where this guy came from. So that's a weird start to this one too. You see that little, it comes out and down and up. Then it's mad straight and we have a couple of branches. Obviously this is the side that's been facing the window. That's where all the leaves are facing. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this uh, weird combination. I, I, I don't know what to think of it. I kind of like it. I like the terracotta. Um, these tropical leaves are pretty dope. And then uh, the black locust. I wish I could just let it grow out, though, because it's so cool looking. Like, to have that go across an entire window, that would be really cool. So, maybe this, uh, you know, insect treatment that I got today will be a permanent solution. And you'll see this guy grow out in full the next time. So that's going to do it for us today here at the ranch, y'all. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Looks like it's clearing up outside, thankfully. So my trees and plants got watered, and now we have a nice afternoon. So I hope you all do the same. Take care.